Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. We're welcome at, to what? Oh, will you give me a second? Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the Jolly Marriage Show. I am Dr. Willie Jolly, and this is D. D. <laughs> and we're the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. Many of you might have seen us on the Today Show last week. And that is why you're joining us. We've had so many people who have reached out and said they enjoyed the interview, want to see it again, want us to come back. We hope we will go back at some point in time. But we're also talking to a number of others who have called since then and said they loved what they saw. So we're glad about that. And we're having calls and interviews and conversations and, and meetings. We'll see where it leads. Leads where we are. Uh, Greg and Linda are back. Where are y'all back to? I hope to West back Virginia. From. Back from, I guess. Uh, y'all back to West Virginia from somewhere. And uh, Landa Pack has joined us, and we are so grateful that people are joining. Okay, now we've got a couple announcements, and then we're going to get into the, today's subject. Of breadcrumbing and ghosting. Yeah, we're part two, because so many people asked us to do part two. Let's see, I coach high school soccer, and we had a game. You both were awesome on the Today Show. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, for first of all, we want to say that Next week, we will be on, Mark Stevens, hey, buddy, uh, we will be on um, next Monday night, uh, even though it's Labor Day, we plan to be on. Yeah, yeah, we'll be on. Uh, my birthday is actually next weekend, and we, uh, we, we typically have a little party, her brother and his family are coming up, and uh, some of my children, or one of my child, children, one of <laughs> some my, of your children, one of I mean, my you children, got two. two, but one <laughs> is coming, and uh, maybe the other one will show up, my granddaughter says she's coming from California, mm. yeah. so hopefully I'd love to see so We will have a house full. Yeah, now, um, but what we want to say is, next Monday night, we're going to do mailbag, so. I'm putting an I-N-G on everything, because it makes it active, we're mailbagging. Ah, we're okay. mailbagging. We're mailbagging. I'm, I'm good with that. So we're mailbagging next Monday night. What are your issues? What are your concerns? What are your problems? What we are have you... a couple of questions that we will share. Yeah, people are sending in questions and want to know answers. So if you've got something you want us to anonymously talk about, you won't ever say your name no, or who you are. No, never say it. We will name. try and help and some our folks. perspectives may be very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So send us your questions this upcoming week. Uh, info at williejolly.com. Info at williejolly.com. We really want people to also go to jollymarriage.com slash events. If, you, if your relationship, your marriage has room for improvement, has room for improvement, we did a five-part series in the month of June called the Relationship Repair Series. It's awesome. It's dynamite. And you can order it online and take it on demand at your uh, at your convenience. We talk about communication. We talk about finances. We talk about sex, romance. We talk about family matters. We talk about blended family matters. And then there's a, a special segment that we added a, a sixth program, which is the 11 biggest mistakes people make in relationships and how to fix them. So go get this. If your relationship has room for improvement, go get it. Hey, look, as I, I like to tell people, that program, this book, and our resources are a lot cheaper than a divorce lawyer. I know that's right. Thank you, Rick Mills, for saying you love us. We you appreciate that. Thank Aww. you. Thank you so much. We're so grateful. So many people have reached out about the Today Show program and said how it inspired them. We only had three minutes and 50 seconds, but we got as much as we could in and the time we had to get it in. And so, people said we talk fast. We had to talk. We fast. had to talk fast. You better talk fast or it's gone. They, so, they, they changed the rules. So it yeah. simply says that we always have to be able to think on our feet. That's right. Okay, next. Uh, so relationship repair period. If you, uh, mm -hmm. I want to say Willie Larkin called, uh, sent me an email today, mm -hmm. wants books for his uh, son mm -hmm. and uh, daughter-in-law. So we're going to take care of them. And some others, Greg and Linda, they had uh, ordered books a couple weeks ago for people who, they order books all the time mm -hmm. for people who are getting married, people who are in relationships. I want to thank y'all. We want to bless families, bless relationships, bless marriages. So tonight we're going to actually talk about something, though, that is, is in the book, 
but it's not our main focus or thrust. It is about single people primarily. We got a little piece of married people. And what single people are going through and trying to find a suitable mate. You know what? It really still is about communication. It's about thereof. communication. So there's three things that, that break up marriages or really break up relationships, sex, money, and communication. Those are the three big boulders. They break it Too up. Too much. Too you much. Can have too much. You can have too much money or too little money. You can have too much sex. Somebody want to get sex outside the marriage. Woo! Or too little sex, not getting enough anywhere in the marriage. Or three, it's rare when you have too much communication. But maybe somebody could talk too much and wear somebody well, out. You know what? I think. But it's that, better than that's better than not I enough. I think the too much communication comes may come into play when you have somebody who's an extrovert <laughs> versus somebody who's an introvert. Hmm. Like who? Me. Like you. Who didn't talk as much as the extrovert. Only in public. <laughs> At home, you know, my son says, my dad doesn't talk much. Is my mom was got going all the time, going all the time. What I'm doing is sweet talking you so I can persuade you to do what I want you to do. <laughs> and that often doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, so we want to want to tell you that uh, send your letters in for next week for the mail bagging, as you have said. Yes, I like that. Mail bagging. All right, let's talk about this topic tonight. Okay, one other thing in terms of uh, updating. What's the site for jollymarriage.com? Is that is jollymarriage.com? That jollymarriage. Jolly and the YouTube is com. the Jolly Marriage YouTube channel. Okay. okay. And that we are going to be with the Jolly Marriage site. We're going to be updating our materials and be updating our materials in terms of resources. Because a couple of things that people ask for, like um, people who are having challenges, you know, what what is the, the number for for people for domestic abuse? What's the number for people who, who need this? Things that we talked about. So we're updating the site so that we can provide that information to people. So Show everybody your crazy nails. Than... Show them your crazy nails. Sure, yeah, sure. Uh, my sure. nails are not crazy. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. It's not, if it's not crazy nails, it's crazy glasses or, or different color hair. Go Show them everybody. Yeah, crazy. Not, that's not crazy. It's pink and it's gold. This week. Now y'all check her out next week. It'll be a whole nother thing. This is what Keeps I live you with. Interested. I, I live with this every Makes day. You, it, it surprises you. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Okay, let's talk about this this topic area. So our topic tonight is ghosting, bread crumbing, bread crumbing. Bread crumbing. Bread crumbing. Yes. Now what is bread crumbing? We talked about it a couple weeks ago and our friend Terrence Senior said you got to do a second one on that because it was so profound, but particularly for those who are not yet married or not married or been married or divorced. But bread crumbing can be something that occurs in a marriage too. So why don't you tell people what bread crumbing is first? Okay, the old, first of all, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay. And what what we want to do is to keep people caring. Yes. You know, those who might not be currently in the traditional dating scene, but you need to be with, able to have conversation with, with your a younger generation or your kids, right? Correct. And they use terminology to win. And we're like, what? What are they talking about? Right? Right. So breadcrumbing is not new. Breadcrumbing is, the basics is flirtation. Mm. It's flirtation with really no interest in the person, but a way of keeping them in. Well, there's no interest or well, we limited don't. interest. Well, I, 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 we really don't know. Okay. They're, the goal is to get the other person interested. Mm -hmm. While you might not necessarily be interested, but you are flirting with them to get their interest for a variety of reasons. Such as? Well, it might make you, it might be good for your ego. Mm. You might have already somebody in the queue, but you want to have a bench, as we have said. Okay, you want somebody on the bench. Oh, somebody on the bench. In so case this one don't go well, I got somebody else. So that may suggest a, a, a feeling of, of insecurity. I, I'm not sure, but this one's going to last. So, so I need the person on the bench that can move in. 
That's her option. The other one, our option is bread crumbing because you're going to have some midnight calls. You know, there was an old oh. song called Jody. They called him Jody. <laughs> Jody knocks around midnight. Ha! Wait a minute, so how is that bread crumbing? It ain't bread crumbing. Well, they bread crumb them because they they lead them on because they're there. They, they, um, what is the word they use? What, the piece on the side? Is that yeah, what well, it's piece on the side. It's, it's, it's your... If you you know single guys have it, so you can't say it on. on I can't on say social. it in in social media because I am a man of the cloth. I'm a man of I'm a, I'm a a man who loves the Lord. I can't talk about the stuff that I did when I was single. Oh, because you were wild when I was. Thank God for grace. Grace, grace. Thank God for grace. Thank God, and I met you. So let's get back to All bread right. crumbing. Bread crumbs. So. So, when you're dropping crumbs of interest, and you're and, and then somebody is following behind you and picking them up, oh, they sent me a text. Oh, here's the other thing: the whole idea of breadcrumbing and ghosting is so popular because we now have social media. Digital is digital communication. Digital communication, so it's easy to do that. So you say, well, I was just thinking about you. How are you doing? How can I drop some crumbs? Mm. You said, well, I'm thinking about you today. Yeah. Or this song made me think of you. Ooh. Or I saw an old picture. I was going through my going through my phone and I saw a picture of you or something. It made me think of you. And you're How like, you doing? Oh. And then you bread. after you haven't talked to them. Yeah, that bread been crumbing. silent for a while. Now. When you haven't talked to them and you've been silent for a while, you're moving into the arena of ghosting. Uh oh. oh hey, God. first timer! We got Ray as a, a Roy. Hi, Ray. The first Roy. time. Hi. Ray and Roy. I got my glass of Roy. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Roy and Sandra, married eight years. So glad you're here. Uh, we uh, we want you to be like us. Uh, you you know, if you saw the Today Show, that y'all have already surpassed that eight years. When most people get divorced, which is a seven-year mark, so you're on your way to join us at the thirty-seven-year mark. Yay! So you gotta keep, you gotta keep it Go tight on. and loving, and talking. because you don't want to end up what after the the twenty-five-year mark and move into the great divorce category. No, we don't want we, that either. We don't want the great divorce no, category. You say, at, then you're like, okay, see, so Nanny, interject that. What is a great divorce? Oh, no, 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 don't get off track. Can I just no, tell them that? you're getting off. Now you're, I you, them, you, and then yeah, I don't know. You're getting off track. Why can't I tell them? <laughs> Rabbit <please? hole. laughs> I gotta tell them. All right, go ahead and tell them what okay, it is. Okay, okay. So you, you got past the seven year itch. You're still together. You're working on, you're holding hands, you're you're loving, you're kind, and you make it through. You got kids, you get through high school, you get through college, and maybe you've been so focused on them and the household and not on each other because you didn't have date night. You didn't have a date night. All right, all right. You got to have a date night. And then you're like, I don't even know who this person is. That's right. And then I'm looking at them across the table. The kids are all going, I don't even have anything to talk to them about. That's bad. So you know what? Do I want to spend the rest of my life with this person? I don't even know. They don't even look the same anymore. They lost the hair. They lost the waistline. It's a hot mess. I'm going to divorce them. That's called a great divorce. And it can be solved so simply. A weekly date night. So that you have time for each other. Now, Roy and Sandra, first timers, um, they're blended family, empty nesters. Ah. So we've been blended. We got a whole piece of our relationship repairs to these would be perfect. Perfect for anybody who because we are also a blended family and there are challenges. They're yeah. all they're always communication challenges. Communication. So mm -hmm. 37 years, and we're grateful. Okay, now let's get back to the topic at hand. For those who, there are people who get ghosted or breadcrumb in marriage. Now, I thought that was interesting, Dee. Yeah, that, that yeah. Because when you, you found that research and you shared it with me, I said, I had never thought of such. I thought it was only single people. Tell them what that means. You tell them. No, you no, no, no. You tell them because you're the expert. <laughs> you're making fun of me. Expert. I'm going to defer to you. Steve. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you the expert on this. Okay, so ghosting. Yeah. The silent treatment. Mm. They go silent. Mm -hmm. Even in marriages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that might, ghosting is a modern term, what you call 
what we refer to in the book as silent treatment, stonewalling, all of the above. No mm -hmm. talking, no communication, mm -hmm. shut down. You should have understood. Woo. You should know. You did not marry a mind reader. No. You that's did a, not. That's a major communication problem. No room for stonewalling, no room for silent treatment, mm -hmm. no room for, you should have known what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. wrong answer. So that's a more digital term as to what we were talking about in our book in terms of, well, the silent treatment or, or just gone. Your body is there. There's a song about that. Your body your is body there, but your is mind here is, with me, is somewhere else. But your mind is on <laughs> the other side of town, <laughs> messing me around. So with this social media and with your children and maybe the decade under yours, you've got Grinder. Mm. Grinder. You've got what? Okay, Cupid. Mm. Oh, these are these are the platforms. Okay, Cupid, Where Grinder, Tinder, this new Bumble. This kind of terminology has really come. And you meet use. people online in these digital spaces. You don't really know them. They either catfishing where they got pictures. Oh, catfish. Catfishing. Okay, does everybody know what catfishing That's is? That's when they got a picture of somebody who your, your high school picture. Now you're sixty five years old. No, or it might not be real. Catfishing is the person might not exist. Not at he all. might not be in a real Or person. you think you're talking to a woman and it's a man, or, or the other way around. Wow, wow. So these are all terminologies and information that is out there that you at least need to be aware of. Wow. So it's easier to do it now because we don't communicate often face to face, and because social media makes it easier to become what's that word that cheryl taught me um a a a, a, a gangster a a, uh, 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 a, keyboard, a keyboard gangster that's another one a keyboard gangster Ooh, had you wow. heard that before mm. a keyboard gangster meaning you can be mean to people because you're hiding behind your keyboard yeah yeah Willie Larkin just sent me an email. Yes, we will send one. He, he said, I want you to send a book, and I recommend you get one for each of them, his son and his daughter-in-law, oh. because we want them to read it together. That's one of the things we, we shared on the Today Show. So y'all, they can grow together, and that the, at the end of each chapter, we want people to read a chapter and then discuss it. I actually have one of our coaching um, couples that we coach, mm -hmm. I coach, we've been coaching. To go, we, they're doing this now because they've had some major issues. They're going to go one chapter per week and on date night, which we said Thursday or Friday, you discuss what you learned in that week of reading the book. Yeah. So it kind of forces them, if you're being honest, to go ahead and read because when you answer the questions at the end of the chapter, how you answer is very different. Mm -hmm. Then you come together and you share your information. Like, oh, I, I, I didn't know you thought that way. Or I didn't know something. Right. Oh, I didn't know right. about that. I didn't know right. about this. So I... It's a powerful tool mm -hmm. to to grow your relationship by doing that, and it's such a small investment uh, to 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 grow it when you you, you spend more than that than on a dinner or movies. That's true. That's true. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Right. Right. But the key, the key is constant communication. Communication. So what it is now? Your, let's get back to how yeah. can bread crumbing? Let's reinforce. It. How can breadcrumbing be something that can occur in a marriage? Because really, breadcrumbing could simply be a breakdown in communication in a marriage. That was a piece that I found very interesting right. that I was reading about. And, and really, breadcrumbing or any of this is about communication or lack thereof. Or because so many people find it difficult to communicate effectively. You think you're communicating. But when you say, but but you're not really. So how do you know? Oh, there's, if, oh, there's if, nebulous. You know, I, I like to see you, but uh, some people breadcrumb unintentionally because they're scared. They they they're afraid of rejection, and so they start out uh, an interest, but then they 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 they're scared of getting rejected, so they they don't know what to say, so they don't say nothing. Well, the other person is waiting. There's an interest in the other person, but because of this fear of rejection, fear of so how do you learn to do that? So how do you learn 
to communicate effectively so that the person that you're interested in or that you are married to knows what you're thinking and feeling. One of the things one of the things we recommend is that when you have critical conversations, you do it verbally, not by text. We are big on the fact that we tell our children and our friends and family members, don't send me a text, a long text with all of this. I can't hear your voice. You said that earlier. I can't hear your inflection. I can't hear how you are thinking in, in, your, in your tone of voice or in your, your emotional perspective or in how you say it. We, we taught a class at our church about communication. And there's a common one we love. I didn't say you stole that car. 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 Now, each time I put the inflection on a different word and it changed the whole meaning. The meaning of the sentence. You cannot do that in text. That is why we tell people, have a conversation. And you know what? Sometimes for those of us who are who are introverted, I do understand that it can often be a challenge to really say what you're thinking. You can mull it over. For those of us who are introverts, we mull things over a long time before we say it. Right. So we have to mull it over, practice it, and then we have to take the leap of faith and actually say it. Right. So it's easier for someone who is more of an extrovert who thinks and talks. At the same in, time. At the same time. An introvert is somebody who's thinking, 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 and then they speak. But sometimes you can think, 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 and it, and it never comes out. So that's something that I was aware of that I actually had to work on to make sure that he understood everything about me so that he could respond the way I wanted him to respond. Right. Because he's not a mind reader. Not a mind That's reader. That's very important. So I think it's important for us to say, we recommend, if you feel like you're being breadcrumbed, that you tell them you need to have a conversation on the phone. You got to cut to shape. Like this boy. Or even Zoom. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom is better. Zoom is better. You got to have a conversation by phone or Zoom is better. And say, hey, I need to have a conversation by Zoom. And if they're giving you a lot of run around like this poor guy who was with the Notre Dame football team, who three years with this person breadcrumbing them, breadcrumbing them. Who, did, who did the program on right? It was on. It was a special on it Netflix. Special. It's on Netflix, and he finally came to the realization. Well, his grandmama died, and then his his girlfriend died. Only to find out later, the girlfriend never existed. It was a guy masquerading as a woman and leading him on for but three I never years. Really got to why why he was doing. Well, he was lonely. Maybe I don't know what his reasoning was. Nobody came up with what his reason, but what the bottom line is, this will solve that problem. Tell him, pick up the phone. Call me, call me. I want to talk to you. In fact, better, D said, I want to do a Zoom with you. Everybody got Zoom. They got a free, yeah, you got a free Zoom for 40 minutes. So you tell them, hey, if this is going to go any further, we got to have a Zoom so I could check you out. Make sure you're not breadcrumbing me, catfishing me, ghosting me, icing me, all this other stuff. Make sure it's it's nine twenty five. My bride said we have not let her have her uh, back office boss My segment. Bob segment and it, it's quick. B O S S. Huh? It's not B O. Back office boss. Back office boss. Oh, B O B. B O B. Boss, you're right. B O B. Yeah, B O B. Back office boss yeah. segment. And, and, and just and this one is important. This because, is important. So it's so we it's, were at a conference over the weekend. Yes, we were at a conference over the weekend. You may go. Okay, and one of the participants expressed to us that she had had her identity stolen. I had never been with someone who had their identity stolen. How? She was at the airport. She plugged in her phone while she was sitting in a restaurant with, with the layover. And then within several so hours- plugged it in where? Pl pl plugged it in- To the wall. To the wall. To get it charged. To, to, to charge her- phone yes and within hours she started getting a text from 
Bank of America. Okay. Credit card companies from Bank of America. Did you authorize these charges? It was a mess. You know what? Her identity was stolen as a result of plugging her phone into the wall at the airport to get it charged. So I said to her, what do you, what do you recommend? What is the lesson? Carry your own block charger. Is that what yes. you have with you? Yep. And you get them in different sizes. Never, 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 henceforth and forever, according to the FBI and according to the police, and she's been dealing with this for four months. Four months. She now, says it's going to take, they say that, that it takes about a year to get your they tried identity to change straight. Her yes. Social security number. They got her social security number. Ooh. I mean, it's All just of terrible. Her banking information. She said, thank God that she stopped it before they got to her 401k and her retirement stuff. And that she then was put in a position to have to prove who she was. She said, imagine having all your credit cards turned off and you can't even go to the bank and get cash and you can't use a credit card. How do you survive? You can't get, can't get crash. You can't go to credit card. Everything's messed up. Your, your identity has been stolen. Now she said it could have been one or two things. When they plug it in now, they also have a way in those plugs, particularly in private, public places to, to suck, suck in your information suck your information do out. not plug into any restaurant in anything public second, that's what they say second don't, don't, do don't use the public wi-fi no period out. there's there's billy over there in the in the corner who got his computer open and he looking for you to turn on that public wi-fi which he put up on the first place he sucks all your stuff be very careful. She gave it's a horror the cyber story. Criminals horror are amazed. story. It was a it's a horror story, and she she lost her husband. Like, I mean, it's been just like one horrible thing. Her husband just took on what maybe two years. Yeah. So it's just, just, just a series of horrible things like that. But to lose your identity, so please. So be careful. Anyway, welcome again to the to Roy and I think Sandra. Welcome to all and our first timers. First time, Any other first you. timers? Welcome again to all of our regulars. Tell everybody you know. Monday nights, nine o'clock, the Jolly Marriage Show. So we'll been, have a summary also of Brett coming. I'm going to do a little a, a blog about. You follow her. On, we so should be following us on all social media. Jolly Marriage. Jolly Marriage. Jolly Marriage on Facebook. We're expanding. Jolly. We're expanding. And then next week will be mailbagging. Mailbagging. Send your letters. Send your issues. Send something you want us to discuss anonymously that we may even give you help on and might help others as well. Uh, info at willyjolly.com. Remember, go to the Relationship Repair Series at jollymarriage.com slash events and get that. If, you're, if your marriage, your relationship, have, relationship has room for improvement, Go get it, and you can do it on demand. We were going and to we're that. going to be on time because when we do our next TV segments, we're going to hit the nail on the head. Bam! If they say two minutes, bam! Two minutes. You better watch out. If they world. say a thirty seconds, we, we got, got thirty it. seconds. You're so cute. <laughs> I'm a keeper. I'm telling. I'm telling y'all. Hey, love y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for joining us. Glad y'all saw us. Many of you new because of the Today Show and many of you old because we've just been doing this, grinding it out, trying to save a million marriages, enhance a million marriages. And we want you to go if you haven't gotten it. Thank you, Willie Locker, for getting books for your son and your daughter-in-law. Make love. Make money. Make it last. 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. Go to jollymarriage.com or ajollymarriage.com and get it. Thank y'all. God bless you. Good night. God bless y'all. Jolly out. Jolly out. Are we going out with our music from my jazz album, Close to You? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.